Hello and welcome back to what I believe is episode 10. Um, I think the last one was 9, I've recorded 4 episodes today, 2 back to back now, so, or this will be the second one back to back. Anyway, a uh, few things to report on. Paul Scholes picked up an injury, um, probably won't affect Man United's season running too much, will affect England for the World Cup. He's out for 7 months with a damaged spine, he's been, well I mean, it might, I say it won't damage him for the running, it may well do, because they've got Solskjaer, he's done okay, Netherlands hasn't really featured, he's very good. Um, Andy Cole suspended for not being very good. Sheringham has obviously been very good. But yeah, that they are riddled with injuries kind of throughout the spine of their team, really. Not all first teamers, admittedly, but there are some. So there is a chance that they could falter in this sort of run in. But we're just concerned about what we can do. We've got our own problems. And Berger suspended. So we're going to see Rui Costa come in. And McManaman is injured, so we're going to see Biscord come in, and we're going to see Leon Larson go on the bench. Uh, Honcho is also injured, so we're going to see Robert Page come in. In fact, no, we're going to see O'Connor come in. I think he's the better option. And Ince is injured, so we're going to see, um, what's his face, McDonald come in, and we're going to put Heidenstrom on the bench. And, yeah, not good for fa facing uh, fourth, fifth place Blackburn, who could have taken the lead after three minutes. We've seen it in a few games recently, very early goals conceded, and... We're battling back sort of from a deficit early on. Owen with a good chance himself early on in the game, but hopefully we can all we can do is win three out of three now and see what that compares to Man United's results. The Skulls injury could feature certainly in this next one while Cole's injured as uh, suspended as well. They're gonna have to play sort of Solskjaer who hasn't really done it. But they've got so many goals in the other parts of their team that I, I don't think they're gonna be too concerned. Skulls has got a lot of their goals, but it's their goals against as well. They just don't lose many. They don't let many in. Come on, boys. What's going on? We are we are faltering like hell. Absolutely faltering at the end of this season. Be scored, should have scored. Come on, lads. Steven Gerrard. Move breaks down. And they're going to counter us, aren't they? Oh, it didn't carry on for ages then. That's the first time that hasn't happened. I thought it was going to be another game where it did it. Oh, oh God. These chances, they should, they they probably should have scored, but as so should we, really. We, it should be probably two all, really, not nil nil. But we'll probably go and lose two nil now. <laughs> let's be honest. Come on, can we grab something? Can we hold on? Let's be honest. That's more the point at the moment. Come on, Owen. These are not the times to be losing your shooting boots. Let's get Fowler on. Not that I'm expecting him to do too much. Uh, Gerard's had a bit of a stinker, really, in all honesty, and Leon Hardson on four. Uh, Biscord, I guess. I'm hoping Biscord and... Come on, Fowler. It puts it over. I'm hoping Biscord and Rui Costa have a bit more of a... This is a bit of a bedding-in period and they come back next season sort of on fire. As we've drawn a game, like... we've Another game we haven't won, basically. It's it's not good enough. Let's see what Man United have done. How has that injury affected them? I mean, if they've won the game, they've practically won the title. And I'm getting a bit of cramp in my legs, so I need to just move the laptop... <laughs> YouTuber problems and all that stuff. Um, I mean, my biggest problem at the moment is not running. Uh, we don't care about that. Man United, I mean, it didn't bother them. They're playing quite a high-flying team. Solskjaer's come in and done the biz. And I would say that's probably... What was that? Seven? I think that's actually done it. I think they've actually won the title. They have. They've won the title. Oh, anyway, let's just play out these last two games. So I'm going to click forward. So I've got to get to a certain point in May anyway to do the, the look around bit, the little glance around who's won what. So I think the Champions League final is about the 15th of May, something like that. Come to the Monday, we just need to go out and just try and do something now, I guess. So we're going to stick Berger back in, Rui Costa on the bench, Biscord for Costa. And let's just give let's give um, Fowler and Dundee a shot up front. Anyone else we need to give a game? We're going to give a game to... Stevie Redknapp, Stevie Redknapp, Jamie Redknapp even, uh, we're going to stick Dyer on the left back, we're going to go Rob Jones at right back, uh, Matteo for Page, I think that's about all we want to rotate at this stage isn't it, I mean Murphy could maybe get a game for Berger, yeah why not, as we go now Q winning 8-0, <laughs> as we put the Reserve team out. I don't see that we'd be fatigued, particularly the game we were fatigued in. We went and won like 3-0. I think it was Sheffield Wednesday. We went and beat them quite reasonably. 
Murphy goes to grabs a goal. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to say. Did we need to just put this team out against United and put it... Fowler finally scores. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, joke there. What was that? He used to do that on Soccer AM, wasn't it? Le God, or God. Fowler was God, wasn't he? he? Used to have the little hallelujah sound and all that. And the light go on the screen and all that. But he's not been anywhere near godly enough for us. Dundee grabs the goal as well. Crocodile Dundee chips in. Hasn't featured much since the start of the season. Was 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 in the starting lineup at the very start of the season. I wasn't relying on Owen and particularly Relo, I don't think, that much. And they just came in and bossed the striker line. So they've been our main boys. Fowler and Dundee just, yeah. But this last game against a tough Newcastle team who have still got ideas on Europe. Yeah, it's a good result. I mean, they've got something to play for. We kind of haven't now. We've I think we're set for second. We're cemented. Um, and we are going to maybe bring some changes just to freshen some things up a little bit. And just to give Bjorn Heinstrom a game. We're going to bring Redknapp off. He's got an 8. We'll bank that. Biscord may as well grab a little bit as well. Murphy's got his goal. Again, we'll just let him bank that. I mean, I'm I was toying a little bit with bringing Carragher back from his loan. And Murph is it Murphy? No. Thompson. Just give him a game in these last few. John Dale Thompson gets sent off 76 minutes. It's not going to make too much of a difference. The game's already gone. Obviously, it might affect them in the running for them, what they do. But I imagine they've got the Arsenal at some point with the both of them on 33 games. But yeah, 3-0. We, we, we stroll away with a win when we don't really need to do it anymore. <laughs> when the pressure's not on, we thrive. That seems how it seems to be. Yeah, that's not good. Let's have a look. Who we got last? We've got Aston Villa away, haven't we? We'll probably keep the same team out. I need to put Frieda out in a game as well, don't I? I need to get his work permit. Although saying that, I'm probably looking at freeing him. He's, no one's interested in him. But anyway, on to the next game. Back shortly. Okay, I clicked a bit too early, but here we are. Final game of season away at Aston Villa. Um, I can't see the... Can I see the next, yeah, next fixtures? Uh, do, 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 do. I don't know why. There's, there's games after this for some reason. It's not letting me see the current fixtures for everyone. We're just going to stick with what we've got, I think. Um, yeah. Oh, we're going to stick free to win goal, aren't we? See if he can get his... T I mean, he's not going to get enough appearances to get his work permit renewed. He's not going to be in next season. I've got plans on goalkeepers as well. I think Redknapp's just opened the scoring on one minute. Yet again, proving when the... Oh, it's Fowler. Okay. <laughs> so maybe he's one of these strikers that just doesn't work well off the bench. He's the, he's the anti-Solshire. He, he has to start to score. I mean, we started him a few games and he didn't score either. So that, that goes that theory out the window. But yeah, we, we need we need a soul shot. We need a striker we can bring off the bench who might chip in a few goals. Fowler wasn't it. Dundee probably wasn't it. They're both start start strikers. I don't think Reader and Owen were it particularly either. Um but we've petering out this season. Well, I've seen who's won the UEFA Cup. We'll have a quick look at that sort of stuff in a moment. I say I saw it, I did see it, I've forgotten already. I think I know who it was. Um as we get to half time, one nil up, nothing much has happened since that first minute goal from Robbie Fowler. And Friedel absolutely gifts ex-player Stan Collymore the easiest goal to score in his life, certainly his Aston Villa career, because there wasn't many of them. And there probably hasn't been this season either, because he's absolutely terrible on this game. Or he seems to be for Villa anyway, and I've never got much out of him when I've used him. When I've used him for England, stuff like that, he never really, never really did it. And he was a fantastic player in the 90s. I loved him when he was at Forest. Even Crystal Palace, I think, before that, wasn't it? Great striker. And we're going to lose this now, aren't we? We've gone from coasting this game from one minute to actually sort of holding on a little bit now. We should... By Friedel. We don't have a goalie on the bench. Dwight York scores. I'm assuming he's sent. Who's our left back? Didn't see. I think the left back goes normally goes in at this point. Fowler at 10 men. A minute later, a couple of minutes later, makes it 2 all. <sighs> okay. But of course, Milosevic. And I know you're going to say, oh, it's because you've not put a goalie in. That's not. The game doesn't work like that. It puts someone in, and quite often there's a, there's a theory or a tactic or something. Where they, I think it's Nikolai again. He hasn't put a goalkeeper in it, and I think the left back goes in as goalkeeper. Fowler's got a trick, goes in, goes in as goal, and it really seems to help. And I don't, it doesn't make sense um, how it works. But that's Friedel's last game. He's just made my mind up for sure. Not that it was never not made up anyway. He was on his way out. David May has gone to Villa apparently. Villa, uh, Man United have sold him. 
three all draw was terrible, but we finished second, which they're pleased about. Man United so far have just been winning all their games. Yeah. 101 points in the end. I mean, them, them 110 goals we scored, fantastic. It's these 41 goals conceded, which led to these four losses and five draws. That's where we need to tighten up next season. Because, you know, we scored all those goals, but we didn't maybe, we, we might have thrashed some teams 4 or 5 nil. Great. But when we needed it at 1 all or 1 nil down, Leeds comes to mind. They weren't coming. Um, but anyway, I'm going to forward on to past the Champions League and then we'll take a look at um, sort of what's gone on. And I don't know if we'll be able to... I won't feature too much about the World Cup. To be honest, I ain't got time to sit here and wait for that recording now. Um, and I probably won't come back for it. I'll, I'll be ploughing through for the next season and preparations. So anyway, back in a minute. Just a quick point uh, before we jump into moving on. We've just been awarded nine, nearly 10 million for finishing seconds. So that's not too bad. And we'll probably see manager in a month. No, we won't because we're still early in the month. But anyway, um, yeah, back in a moment for the roundup. Okay, so here we are. We're at the end of May and everything has played out. We've done the little shortlisting and all that. That's all happened. But anyway, so let's go with English competition first of all. Premier League, as we know, Man United winners. Liverpool second. Tottenham end up finishing third. Quite clear of Arsenal in the end, Newcastle, Everton. Blackburn finished way down here and Chelsea recovered. We know they were in the relegation early on. They recovered, as did Wimbledon. They were sort of in the mire. But we have lost Coventry, West Ham and Southampton. Barnsley were very high flying, but really slumped second half of the season. Wow. I mean, clear enough points-wise in the end, but wow. Uh, but next season, we will be joined by Sunderland and Man City and Borough coming up in the playoffs. We'll have a look at that in a moment. I did just see the playoff final pop up. They did beat Wolves um, quite comprehensively. Yeah, anyway, that's that. Uh, Division 2, Southampton, oh, who, who, who went down in Division 1? Uh, Port Vale, Portsmouth and Swindon. But it'll be Southend, Fulham and Oldham. Obviously, Old, Fulham were a team we were the first season. We finished second as well, didn't we? Behind Watford, I, I want to say. No, it can't have been Watford. Who, who finished above us that season? I don't, it was Watford. They finished fourth this time. I think it was Watford. Yeah, and then I think Wimbledon were the team the next... Or did we win it? No, I think we won Division 2, and then we second to the Premier League, wasn't it? That was it. And then we've got Barnet, Cardiff and Chester and Rochdale coming up. And we've got Rotherham going down. I don't think I know who's come up. Uh, in terms of last results, we've got 5-1 in the final. Uh, Marco Branca. I mean, the goal returns on him this season. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Valencia as well. Magic Man, Paul Merson. Possibly. No, he's not unavailable. Poss possibly someone we look to bring in. He's quite he's quite a good player on this game. Uh, don't know who else was in there. Alan Armstrong did okay. Uh, Marcus Stewart, they signed from Huddersfield. Did very well. Signed him before as well. Very good striker. But yeah, that would be that. Uh, we had the division. That was obviously Oldham beating Watford. So Watford didn't come up. They finished fourth, didn't come up. Oldham did. And Rochdale, yeah, we, we saw that. They won on penalties. Um, that's Premier League. Uh, we've got the League Cup, which I've mentioned earlier. Arsenal in another episode. Arsenal won. They beat Chelsea one 0 in the final of a goal from Ian Wright. Right, right. Fantastic. That's all I care about. Pretty close game. Yeah, whatever. Uh, we weren't there. We weren't there, so not, don't really care at this stage. Uh, FA Cup. Arsenal doing the domestic cup double. A bit like in '93 when they beat Sheffield Wednesday in both finals weeks. That they beat in Crystal Palace in the other one this time. Uh, Ian Wright, right, right again with the winning goal. And, yeah, not much else to say about that. A uh, bit more of a deserved performance result in that one. So that's pretty much England taken care of. I think we're not going to look at those. Uh, we need to go to Italy. I know who won Syria. Uh, it's Juventus. Quite clear of Inter. Milan are there, Fiorentina, Lazio. All the usual kind of. Then we've got Roma, Sampdoria, sort of mid-table. Well, not really mid-table, just above relegation, really. Palmer going down with the team they've got in this game, even. To be going down. Bierhoff as well signed he's on a free is it a relegation release clause it must be relegation release clause i don't think he's someone we want to sign is he he may well be ah oh. do we put a cheeky bid in with our direct football he will probably work let's have a look we'll try if he costs too much we won't we won't say no Aspria's there some great players crespo's in there wasn't as good in this game but Obviously still good. Benito Carbone. Oh my God. The players they've got and they're going down. Chiram's in there. Is he going on a free? Because he might be. <laughs> He's not, unfortunately. But 
we don't need a centre back. We're we're kind of okay. We actually maybe do need one more because Mark Wright's going to be going. Uh, we've and Cavani's out for another God knows how long still. But yeah, Napoli, Piacenza, Atalanta joining them. Lecce survived by the skin of their teeth. Uh, Empoli and yeah starts to close up. Uh, we've got. I need to go back and check goals in England. I didn't check the goal scorers, player tables. That's what I meant to do. But coming up is Reggiana, Salernitano, Genoa and Ravenna. Disappearing at Pescara, Treviso, Fidelis, Andrea and Venezia, unfortunately. I mean, not much of a powerhouse back in the 90s, but late 90s, I don't think. They had like Nakamura and that in sort of 2001-ish, 2-ish, somewhere like that, I think, before we went to Celtic. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Player tables. I look at top scorers. Ronaldo, George Weir, <laughs> Signori, Zamorano. A lot of usual suspects. Um, really, in Italy. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll just sort of sc screen for you. You can pause if you want to have a look yourself. Bierhoff, he did do all right for for Parma, to be fair. Six, uh, six goals. He, he scored more for Udinese. Uh, Baggio's in there. Yeah, so that's that. Assists. Ronaldo Del Piero. I'm expecting Albertini's being here somewhere. He's not. But yeah, some good names in there again. Yeah. And obviously, we are going to have to run the... Uh, the regen finder on this game because that's another thing I want to do. I want to try and maybe bring some regens in, but we won't look at anything else on there. We do need to go to um, the Coppa Italia. Still playing, but looks like it's going to be Juventus beating Brescia uh, and the Super Coppa. Uh, Juventus beat Vicenza in that. So that's, that's like their charity shield, isn't it? I think uh, Premier League player tables, top scorers, Riedler top, Klinsman sandwiched with between him and Owen. Skulls in there probably won't be there next season because he's going to miss a big chunk of the season. Ian Wright's in there. Zola, Biano, Zola. Okay, don't normally see him in there, I don't think. He's not normally prolific. Big Dunk. He might be an option as well. He won't cross the Merseyside. Um, I just thought I'm, I'm Liverpool. We ain't going to cross the Merseyside. I managed to get good stuff of him in, I think it was with Rangers or, no, with Scotland. When I was Scotland manager in my Aberdeen save, he was very good. Christopher Ray's up there. Again, I'm just going to sort of scroll through. You can pause if you want to take a look. Um, that's that. Uh, if we go and look at Spain, Premier Division league table, Barcelona win the league. Betis second ahead of Real Madrid. Wow, who who was Dion Dublin? Big double D. Go on, son. Probably playing centre back. I'm guessing. Yes, he is. Um, Finidi George in there. Great striker. Um, great winger rather. Fernando Sanchez. Fernando is he signed from Real Madrid? No. 18 goals. The Mucci's in there. Good signing. I think I saw someone else. Helveg. I, I was looking for a right back. He's signed for them as well. Good signing. So and Naj, another one I'm looking at as the right back option. Yeah, he's a. They've had a very good season. Betis, Real Madrid, a bit of a stinker really in comparison. Just above Espanyol, Atletico Madrid down there. Interesting. So who's going down? We don't know yet. Also, we know how the Spanish team works. It is decided. Compostela, Celta Vigo, uh, Merida, and Oviedo are down through the drop. Uh, Las Palmas coming up. Sevilla, Hercules, and extra Madura, and we're losing Ibar. Is my Salamanca in there anywhere? Where's Salamanca? Have they not... Are they a non-league team? At the very start. Are they a non-league team? And I've just met... No, I think I saw them then. Down the bottom, just above the drop. Just above the drop. Four points clear, but above the drop. Uh, if we go to... Copa del Rey. Okay, the final's still going. Betis and Deportivo in that. I've won it on a way leg. Uh, no, that's the semi-final. So it's going to be Deportivo versus Real Madrid. We've not got much riding on it, so we don't care too much. Uh, Barcelona beat Real Madrid in that one. If we go to Spain and just have a quick look at the top goal scorers, uh, we've got Sonny Anderson in there, Ortega, Zucker, Best Yeah. Again, I'm just going to pause that you have a quick look. Uh, another page there. Yep, okay. And one more. Rao in there. Just spotting, a few, just spotting a few. Paletta from Salamanca, we remember him as well, of course. Did quite well. Alexa's kicking off for some reason. I don't know what that's about. I didn't say anything. Uh, and now we have a quick look at the European competition uh, as well. Uh, Champions League, last results. Barcelona beat PSG on penalties. Their goalkeeper got man of the match, but not enough. Match incidents, who's the missing? Oscar missed, Gava missed, and Ngotti missed for uh, PSG. And obviously, that's the semi-finals. Monaco and Rangers were the two losing semi-finalists. Uh, we weren't in that competition, so we don't care. Cup Winners' Cup, we weren't in this competition. I thought UEFA Cup was more prestigious than Cup Winners' Cup, but not in this order, apparently. Uh, last result, Herfolge of Denmark got to the final. 
Right. You do see some mad shit going on in this game. Yakonen in goal. Finnish goalkeeper looks pretty good. Not going to sign him though. I'm not going to lie. But they lost to Betis in the final. Obviously a very good season for Betis. Uh, match stats battered them pretty much as well. It's a closer game in terms of score than it was on sort of stats. But you know that's football isn't it? Uh, who was in the semi-finals? Her foals beat Rodas. I mean, Chelsea not getting through as well. I mean, against Betis. If Betis, Chelsea against any of those other two teams, I think Chelsea are in the final. And they were a bit of a Cup Winners' Cup specialist back in the late 90s under like Hullet and Viali and stuff. I remember that game against Tromso in the snow and that just rings a bell. And I think they won it a, or in the final a couple of times. They definitely won one. Um, UEFA Cup, this is where we were in. We were in the quarterfinals. Did Ajax win it? They didn't. They lost to Lazio on penalties. I knew I saw Lazio. I just couldn't remember if they were the winning team. Um, what happened? It was on penalties. Who? Oh, my God. Ajax absolutely battered them. Um, weren't even close on penalties. Other lads are missing and Vichka missing. And he's another one I'm looking at for that left left wing back spot. I've had him at Ajax before. Very good player. Uh, Ajax beat Inter in the semi-final. And... Lazio beat Atletico Madrid in the semi-final, so we know the quarters. We don't want to look at that particularly. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Now, we have a look at the Super Cup. Barcelona beat Dortmund. Uh, and Club World Cup, probably the English, this European team. Yeah, Dortmund beating Defensor. He's not a real player. 2-1. Riefman, I don't think he's real either. Oh, he is. Riefman is real. And Champoisat. That's that. And we'll just have a quick look at player tables, top goal scorers. Sonny Anderson, 11 goals in all competitions, in, in all games. Yes, Lung, someone we turned down. Yeah, disappointed we should have signed him. <laughs> he could have done with his goals. He might have shot us a few more draws into wins, um, or losses into wins. I think in Leeds in particular. Don't know who he is. Moller. Yeah, okay. So I think that's going to pretty much wrap up today's episode. It's gone on a bit longer than I initially wanted. We're not going to look at the World Cup. I'll try and pick up and see who won it at the start of next episode. But if I do forget... You know why? Van Hole, pretty much a clean sweep apart from Randy Antic in December. Uh, we had a couple in there. We had particularly early on, but Wenger got them all towards the end. Um, there wasn't a manager of the month in Italy at the start. I don't know, does their season start a bit later? But anyway, yeah, that's that. But if you enjoyed today's episode, please smash a like down below. Uh, hit the sub button if you're new around the channel and enjoying the content. And if you've got any sort of comments just anything like that based on this series do let me know or any feedback that sort of stuff how you think this save can evolve what we can do how we can judge it how we can measure it where we can finish it what we can do to finish it just let me know in the comments i think i've kind of got it in my mind what i'm going to do but you know we'll keep that to the back of our mind as we do our transfers in the summer and we'll be back in a few days or whenever it is in this schedule to start season two so until then i'll see you next time take care goodbye